Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel once again. In this video, we will discuss how you can pull data from Firebase collection and how you can populate those data in a Flutter list view. That list might be in a ascending order, sorry, that list might be in a horizontal view or in a uh, vertical view. If you haven't watched my previous video where I have explained how you can connect Firebase database with our Flutter app, Flutter app then you can find the link of that video in my description which I will attach while uploading. You can refer that video and you can come back to this particular video and you can continue with the list view how you can pull data from Firebase. Without, without wasting much time let's jump into the call and how let's uh, see how we can get data from Firebase. In my last video, I had shown you how you can uh, connect our Firebase database with Flutter app and also we were able to insert one record into our Firebase database. And let me just quickly go and add few more records so that we can pull those records in our Flutter list view. So let me quickly add three more records like Ramesh and Email will be ramesh.gmail.com Password will be ramesh.123 Click on sign up And you can see It inserted 3 records Let me see Why it inserted 3 records Probably I have clicked it 2 more times So let me go and add another time like uh, anand and the password and the email will be anand at gmail.com and one two three see uh, it just inserted one more record with name anand Previously, it clicked twice so that the uh, record was twice inserted into the Firebase database collection. I am going to delete one record which we had inserted previously. Step. Uh, so now we have three records. Let me add another one. In the upcoming video, I will show you how you can clear these fields while you insert. Uh, through our sign up button click and also I, I'll show you how you can have a separate button to add the number of people into our registration page. Uh, the name will be um, Ajit Now you can see uh, there are four records. So now let's go to our code. This welcome page will be converted to our list view because uh, it will be easy for it will be a time saver for us to just modify this welcome to page to our list view. Let me quickly go to this uh, home page where you can see this page welcome to and change this page into a list view page so that we can pull data from the Firebase and populate here itself. So the name of the page will be users list and uh, we need to change this uh, container into our list view so that uh, the data can be seen in the list order. So let me just uh, now save it. Uh, you can see the changes as here users list. Now inside this child of container we will uh, pull the data with the help of stream builder if you are not aware of stream builder stream builder is a uh, class which is given by our firestore in firestore or firebase dependencies through which you can create an instance to our particular collection reference of firebase so as you had seen in last video we use that firebase firestore firebase firestore instance to insert data into our files base. Similarly, that instance will use to pull data from the file base. So I'll quickly uh, go and create a stream builder constructor here. 
Team Builder constructor accepts few more uh, parameters like you can see here stream which will get the snapshot of the Firebase collection reference and the widget that you can build like either the list view or container or text by using uh, the snapshot records that you have received using the streamline and the initial data if you want to use or if you want to show any initial data you can also use it later so we will be using these two parameters as of now to populate our list of data here so just uh, let me hit enter and first we will get the stream of list for that just type firebase file store instance and if you remember we have created one collection with the name users users and you just need to type snapshots and this snapshots this much lines of course will give us all the documents available in this users collections so this snapshot is nothing but the particular record of that collections now we need to build our widgets which will be rendered to the users or which will be visible to the users now inside the builder method we can accept context and async snapshot as it is a live live data or we can say it is a uh, dynamic data which will be synced whenever you change from your fibers i will show that in a moment snapshot query snapshot don't worry i'll explain this all uh, in further videos for your understanding now we got this snapshot now we can do one thing I, we can check whether uh, this snapshot has data or not you just and you can return something like i'm just returning container and here in the else part also just write some container as of now so our main motto is that if we have some data here we need to uh, show that in a list view now convert this container into a list view builder method just type it and you can see it here so list view builder also accepts the item builder which has two parameter accepts one is context another is index now this can uh, now this also accepts as a return another widget that can be anything either it may be container or text or a column or a row any other widget you can return according to your project's requirement and this list view dot builder also re required another parameter which is item count and this item count we can get from this snapshot snapshot dot data and this exclamatory symbol is actually checked for null operator docs dot length and uh, let me see what happened i guess it's not required here so now the length will be the number of records we have in the firebase collection named users and this many times our records will be returned so now this snapshot data dot docs has the index which we will use to return the data child just let me print the value fast copy it here copy it here and use index and you need to give the particular name here that we used like name key reference for the particular row let's reformat it and let's save and run this app whether it's going to show the data or not yes it worked you can see Ramesh, Ajit, Mangalas and Anand uh, we have all the four records here you can see like Ramesh and uh, Ajit, Mangalas and finally Anand 
it's very easy to pull data from our firebase with few lines of course and it it depends how you want to popular to the user according to your ux and ui design now let's uh, make it little better to uh, for better look and feel let me just go and uh, change it to list uh, a column widget just wrap this with a widget Let me just delete it and uh, not column, a uh, row widget will be good. Children and my first widget will be a container and the second widget will also be a container. And in my first uh, container I will uh, populate my name followed by the email in the second container so just let's go here again do the same that we did previously index and name similarly I can copy and paste here for email email now save it and run it now you can see this there is a, a name followed by gmail we need to just uh, make it look better so i'm just going to give a width of few like let's say 40 like 50 for the first container oh it's taking too much space not Let's say 120 width. Just give more like 230. Now you can see the Rames and the uh, for Rames email ID at gmail.com. Now let's go here and make a few. Uh, now let's go to this parent container and add some decoration here. Decoration will be our box decoration. I'm going to add some radius to here so that the it should look better. What a radius circular with uh, 15 and the height and the height will be thirty. Let's see how it looks. Now there is a some gaps between those. Now let me add some padding to the parent one. Now you can see there is a uh, padding also between all the records. Though there is though the continuous visibility is not clear to us, what we can do is that we can make the parent container color in a different color today a different one color gray so make this height to 50 let's do it 60 uh, and uh, Keep this color to some lighter one. Uh, it's not visible, so I think 200 will be more enough. Yes, it's quite looking good. So let me give some space of this name to the left. What we can do, we can add a sized box of width 10. So that there will be a space of 10 with size so that there will be a space of with 10 before the name text let's see how it will look now it looks cool so our list view is ready with name followed by email id now what we can do is we can go and edit this and in order to edit this one let's keep another icon which looks 
similar to we should look similar to our edit icon the pencil symbol so where we can put that is in in this row at the end of our row widget we can add the icon button so icon button will be on press will execute some operations and the icon will be icon icons dot edit edit now uh, just format it and there is some error because it is overlapping and we need to decrease the size to 220 and let's see okay still um, 200 fair enough so again decrease the size to 160 now it's cool now let's keep a fixed width of this email box so that the icon should be in a proper aligned way 160 probably it should be 140 yes now all the fields are in aligned way like name is aligned and email id is aligned and the icon buttons that is edit one is the aligned we need to perform operations to edit this record in the upcoming video we will see how we can perform the edit operations and the delete operations because uh, if i create uh, those functionality in this video it will be too lengthy it will reach to around uh, 40 minutes or around one hour so i don't want to create a lengthy video because uh, we can learn one particular functionality in a particular video and uh, in this video what we need to do is we need to click on this edit button and you need to carry this data to another page and do some modifications and update that record for that we need to either we will create another page or we will use this existing page here and we will modify uh, the data and also we will have uh, to uh, change this uh, sign up button to update button in that way you will have to do that so we will do that in next video till then keep watching my videos and learn from it and share your thoughts on how we can improve our content or how we can improve our coding style or your thought process. I would love to uh, read your comments in the comment box. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please consider subscribing and share it with your friends and colleagues so that they can also learn from my channel or my content. Thank you so much for watching my videos once again.